Okay, well, good morning, everyone. You can see it's a bright, sunny day. Better than the last time I filmed, which was jumbo fish on a jumbo plane. Had to think then. Anyhow, I'm over going up to Kitsukoi again. I'm getting the camera higher. And uh, there we'll be filming uh, some jumbo tosai that uh, Chris has had in since February. Uh, you may remember from that last video I just mentioned that uh, th that was his big shipment that came in. I think 58, 59 boxes of koi came in from the south, mainly the south of Japan. And uh, if you remember, that was one of the most epic stormy days in the United Kingdom, England. That's for the Americans. Um, and it made for terrible filming. The sound was uh, impeded and there were so many things happening. We couldn't really look at fish. Fish was coming out, fish were being put in, boxes were being put aside, uh, fish was being opened, bags were being opened up, fish were being put in in QT. Now, it's uh, now end of February, and we are actually going to have a look at these fish. They've been in quarantine now for a number of weeks. They're not finished, they've still got another two or three weeks. So by now, they should have settled any parasites any issues uh, the boys at Kitsukoi are very good at picking up those things and uh, so we're gonna have a look at them so join me on this video as we take our trip up to Kitsukoi I say we because it's just me and you you're riding shotgun there you go shotgun um, and uh, we're gonna have a look at some Tosai, some Sankey, some Kahaku, some Showa I've got my eye on a Sankey finding Sankey is a difficult thing but Looking at the quality of the Sankey and indeed the Kahaku, the show are coming in. Um, I think I could have a place. So I'm going to have a look through. Hopefully I could intercept one. Don't tell Chris or Graham. Yeah so. yeah. so Chris, why don't you talk us through like body structure, backbone to go big sort of thing. Um, so there's a couple of indicators for, for growth. Yeah. So obviously, you know, broad head, wide mouth, uh, like a visible like backbone. So yeah. on, on this fish, I mean, this is probably one of the largest fish out of the out of the selection. I don't know if you can see it on camera there, but you can see there's a definite, like, good strong uh, backbone there. Look, yeah. you, can, you can see sure. it's prominent. And um, you know, our younger viewers are watching this, so maybe they still live with mom and dad. Yeah. So they stay in that age where their moms allow them a pond or dad, and they can't afford fifteen hundred quid or eight hundred quid. These are the sort of fish that is good to learn yeah. from, you know. Yeah, so they're not they're not cheap, but they're yeah. good. So they're like like two three hundred pound a fish. Yeah, um, some of these. Um, so they will be photographed. They will be graded from best to the not the best. Uh, naturally, if there's ten fish, there's a number one, there's a number ten. Yeah. So they'll, they'll be priced accordingly. Yeah. Um, but you know, there's, there's some there's some good fun to be had, and they'll they'll grow um, to decent sizes. There's, there's some really good underlying quality in them. Um, some fish might have fantastic benny, some fish might have a really good body, some fish might have really good sumi, some fish might just be pretty quirky fish. Yeah. Um, but I, I think there's something for everybody and I think that, you know, they'll give you a good, uh, enjoyable time growing them. So there you go, Chris, we're having a look at some of these. So we already got those. Come here, there, three. three. Yeah, yeah. There's, 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 three. there's three that we've already, already selected. Um, like Chip's favourite, the dad's favourite, and probably maybe not my favourite, but one that I one that yeah one, one that one that I, I, I kind of like. I'm not saying it's the best. I'm saying yeah, I, I like it. Yeah, I mean it. it was what you're left with in this yeah. selection. Um, so this one here. And that's got a really pleasing pattern to start with. Obviously, assuming we don't really know exactly what's going to come, but we can see we've got a little bit of sumi coming on the shiroji, which is always a good sign. With a little bit towards tail to give you a little bit of balance. Nice clean fish. Nice 
I think I put that to one side. Yeah, maybe a taste of it. I don't think we can ignore this big one because it's uh, everybody's dream to have a nice big fish. On, on a big fish, isn't it? So I know it's the biggest. Um, the zoom is quite nice. There's plenty, plenty of zoom on the on the Shiroji look. I like that. The, the Benny pattern, pleasing. Definitely for, for growth potential, you'd have to put that into one side. It's even bigger than all the, the ones we've already selected. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, we've got a few more in the bowl. There's already one that I've sort of picked out that I like. Chris, you want to show the viewers the one that I picked out that I like? This one. Yeah. So that's a sort of uh, fish that, if I'm choosing, I mean, Chris will show you his, but it might be the same thing, I don't know. But that's the kind of fish that I tend to like. It's a good body line, good head. I haven't had a proper look at it yet, but just it'll stand out in that way. So we just selected through some of the Sankeys, uh, Chris and myself, and there's, we're gonna, in a minute or so, I'll jump on to the Kahakus. Kahaku next, right, Chris? Or Showa? Either one of those. We'll go on to Showa. And, and why do you bully the cameraman so much? Oh, it was just uh, lifting and shifting boxes. <laughs> <laughs> See what I've just been looking at that one, but yeah, bring back up. For, for, this, for this one here, what I'm what I'm really hoping for is that there's a little bit of um, mm. zooming in this mm. peck here. Motogoro. Motogoro. And when I look at there, there's there's no you can't really tell. But just underneath, there's a little yeah, bit of black so right at that first ray. Yeah, you can see it. So I think that that come back. I think that is a good shout. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I think there's plenty of Benny on fish. Mm. It's quite a lot of underlying here. Yeah. There as well, isn't it? There's some sumage coming through. I think the pecs are okay for now. So we've got we've got more mode to go on this side. But then there's also more sumi on this side of fish as well. Yeah. So I think that the motor goro being quite sparse. I think if I more motor goro comes, more sumi will come on this side. These are your top five, Chris. I would say so, yeah. Yeah. And have you got a favourite out of the five? I know it's like yeah. trying to pick your best child, but yeah, I think I think for now, uh, obviously a uh, shower's uh, three colour fish, you know, um, Shiroji, Benny, and Sumi, red, black, and white. Um, and, and and for now, I think out of all the fish. Um, Oh, 
Out of all the fish, I think this is the this is the eye-catching fish in the bowl because of the the yeah. benny and, and, and where the sumi is right now. Mm. Um, the sumi is nice on this fish, um, but the, the benny is much, much, much nicer, nicer yeah. on this one. But I think if I'm buying a fish to, to grow and enjoy, I think this would be the fish that I'd take. It's a little bit more of a gamble, um, but I, I think that with a, a bit of time, um, that fish will come good. a bit dark now but this is our uh, five fish selection out of this match away. Are you gonna photograph these as well? I will do yeah. So they will be all on the website hopefully by the time this video So that's all for today. We did our filming of the Tossai Pond, uh, a couple of Sankeys we selected, one of them are coming home with me, after quarantine of course, also the Kahakus and then uh, you saw the shows as well. So make sure I have a visit at Kitsuko, you can see I'm in here at their main pond and I'll do some cutaway shots, but today was all about hunting for Tossai at Kitsuko. So, if you got a chance, check them out on Instagram, check them out on Facebook, and also visit their website as well. So I want to say thank you to Chris and Graham for opening up their place for me to film today. And uh, it was a great joy. All the traffic kept me, and the weather, the sun's bright and then dull and then sound. So hopefully this works out for you and uh, you enjoy this video. Peace out. Hey, you got hands like mine. Why my hands are yours? <laughs> yeah. Let me put mine closer to the camera so it looks big.